Hey everyone, welcome to another video. This video is going to be my eyeshadow palette collection and declutter. This is going to be quite a video. It's going to be quite a long video, so grab a drink, grab a snack. We are going to be here for a bit because my eyeshadow palette collection has grown quite a lot. And I think the last time I did this video I had like 60. Now I actually have 84. It is... A lot it's a lot and I have to get this down to a more manageable number because this is way too much for me to use it's way too much to fit in my drawers they are piling out like they are overflowing and I just can't deal with it anymore so let's get into it so what you see here is only a small portion of all my eyeshadow palettes I have baskets here as well another basket like it used to be just these two baskets but it has gotten out of hand a little bit i'm just gonna put everything to the side put them on some piles and then i'm gonna go one by one and tell you my thoughts and show you what i have all right i feel like i did a pretty good job there are pellets all around me and i am just whew, i'm gonna start it's gonna be a tough one because i really need to lose some palettes i really need less palettes in my life but i also love eyeshadow palettes so it's it's gonna be a bit difficult to get this to the number that i want all right so let's start with this kiko milano mini me or my mini eyeshadow palette this is a type of eyeshadow palette that they came out with this year i was kind of excited to try it i really wanted to see what was going on and i feel like the palette is pretty good quality there are some nice shades in here but not all of these i think are amazing some of these are a little bit like on the satiny side and i'm not entirely sure what to do with it i think it's a pretty good quality palette but on the other hand I don't know if it is special enough to keep it. It's also newer in my collection. I think in this video there's going to be quite the maybe pile that I'm going to go through at the end. Because there are a lot of maybes in my collection that I'm not 100% sure of what I'm going to do with. But there's some really nice colors in this palette actually. Like, okay, that is kind of like a strange watch because I mix it with the dark brown but like these shimmers are nice the dark brown is nice I'm gonna put this in a maybe pile and yeah I'm not 100% sure yet how I feel about that one all right next up we have the Nabla cutie palette in wild berry this is one that I have changed my mind about a few times because sometimes I do a look and I really like it sometimes I do a look and I just feel like it was a little bit too much effort I don't really like this shade over here the shade incense I don't feel like it really works but this shade this shade and this shade i really like like there are some shades here that i'm really into and i feel like this alchemy 2.0 is like one of the nicest sparkly shimmers that nava has come out with because it is so nice and sheer it is so easy to spice up a look so i think i want to keep it um but i definitely have to use it more to have it stay in my collection for longer next up one of the newer palettes in my collection this is the colourpop quad in citrus phase and i recently updated you on some new makeup i updated you on this as well i really like the quality in this like the mattes they are very nice pigmented blend nicely the shimmers are really nice it is a nice palette but it is something I think I shouldn't have bought. But on the other hand, it's newer in my collection. So I want to give it a bit more of a chance to become a favorite. I still feel like there's some potential here. So I want to give it a little bit of a chance before I remove it from my collection. I think it's a bit too early for that. So I'm going to be keeping this one as well. Then I have one of the Martina Cosmetics Planet inspired mini palettes that they came out with about a year ago this is one in mars and i really love the quality in these small palettes i think the shimmers are very nice the mattes are just very blendable really really good mattes some of my favorite mattes in my collection are in these small palettes so i'm gonna be keeping that one then i have this kiko milano precious rituals a vegan eyeshadow harmony palette and spiritual pink 
And I, I have been thinking about what I want to do with this one because the mattes are pretty nice, but I don't really like the shimmer. And this matte over here is just too subtle. It doesn't really do anything for me. It's just not, not that special to me. Mm, even though I like two out of the four shades, I think it is a bit too bulky and a bit too much of a hassle to keep this around. I really like the whole vibe of this collection, but it's just so hard to store. So I have actually ended up decluttering quite a few things from this collection, even though it is not bad quality or anything. It is just, it is just, even though when I first saw it, I was like, that is such cute packaging. It is just so bulky and then the quality has to be really good for me to choose for it to take up so much space so i'm gonna declare this one even though it's not like i absolutely dislike it i just think that there might be someone else who will like this more than me all right the colourpop dead stove palette i actually really enjoy love the shades in here we used it recently I mean, the mattes in here are just so easy for me to throw on. I feel like this is the perfect type of taupe for me and my preferences. Some taupes can get a little bit too gray, can get a little bit too purple, but these are like the exact right vibes. I really like the shimmers in here as well. Definitely gonna be keeping it. It's one of my faves. Then we have Julia's Place, the Blushed Rose. This is one of my favorite palettes. I haven't gone into this one a bunch this year, but I have to be honest, I have so many eyeshadow palettes that I feel too overwhelmed to really go into the drawer and really pick something out. I just, I feel like I've forgotten about so many of my eyeshadow palettes purely because there are so many that I don't even know where to start and I just keep going back to the same things or maybe new things. So this has gotten neglected, but I really love the shades in here. I really love the color story. So I'm going to be keeping this one for sure. Then the Onus Eye Norns Eyeshadow Palette is one of my favorites in my collection. Same story here. I haven't used it enough, but it is so good. So nice. I love the shimmers at the bottom. I've said that so many times. This is a great eyeshadow palette and I definitely want to keep it around. I think I'm not going to declutter any of my own eye palettes because it's like my favorite brand all right another one of these planet inspired eyeshadow palettes this one is a saturn one i don't pronounce the actual name because it's just i'm gonna butcher it like you wouldn't believe so i really like this color story very interesting very out there just something a little bit different i really love the quality in here the mattes in here are so nice so i'm gonna be keeping that one around then the catrice limited edition Advent beauty gift shop mini eyeshadow palette in dazzling pink collection it's not that it's like the worst quality i've ever tried but this is just a very unimpressive uninteresting palette to me i don't really see myself using this again so i'm gonna be decluttering this one then i don't actually know if i've shown this in a declutter video i had put this to the side because i already knew for sure that i was going to declutter it i don't think i've actually officially decluttered it but in my mind it has been decluttered for a about a year because this essence disney princess rapunzel palette is just terrible quality in my eyes very dusty everything looks the same on the eyes like the shimmers are dusty the mattes are dusty there's just nothing about this palette that can convince me to go back into this again i feel like i used this twice and i hated the looks that i did with it and it was just all flying around it was kind of like applying baking powder to your eyes not gonna do that again so i'm gonna declutter this one and then the glaminatrix cosmetics nocturnal palette i've had this for quite a while quite some months but only yesterday i really used it for the first time because i just felt too overwhelmed with the love new makeup and i kind of just put this to the side i was like this is not the moment to use it i think it's a really fun color story a little bit different yesterday i kind of used these shades over here and i also combined it with obscurity and milky way so i i used six of the shades i think it was a pretty cute look. I really like this. This Luna shade is really a really nice shimmer. I am still testing this out, still trying this out. But so far, I really like it. I feel like this is going to be staying in my collection because it is a very 
beautiful palette and a little bit interesting and out there and this for me is the right time of year to use this then the luna beauty 12 days of luna eyeshadow palette don't worry i'm not gonna open it i think this is a pretty cute color story and i just got it um i really like the quality so far i'm pretty excited about this palette so definitely not getting rid of this one i always show you all my eyeshadow palettes i always show you all my makeup in these videos because i think it is nice to have the complete idea of my makeup collection so i'm just showing you everything even the things that i am 100 sure of that i'm not gonna declutter because i am still testing it out i just think it is more fun that way so this one i'm gonna keep then the essence everlasting blooms eyeshadow palette i like some of these shades in here a lot like the pinks in here very vibrant very nice these two purple shimmers mm, not that interesting this pressed glitter i'm never gonna use but these pinks they make me want to keep this palette i'm a bit unsure what i want to do i feel like they are so nice that i want to keep it around but am i sure that i have nothing like this nothing that could replace these shades in my collection because i don't like this palette as a whole i don't think that the packaging is that amazing i don't really think i need this in my life i need to keep this in my life looking at the amount of eyeshadow palettes that i have but the pinks in here are really nice so i'm gonna keep this in a maybe pile and i'm just gonna keep my eyes open and see what kind of like cool toned kind of bright light pinks i have then the odin's eye for dandy mini eyeshadow palette i am gonna be keeping this one i haven't used it a bunch but these shimmers in the middle are very nice i really like the mattes i want to test it out a little bit more and do some more cool tone looks with this this peach to gold duochrome is very stunning and this one is very like blue silvery it is say yes and unknown this unknown shade i really like so i'm gonna be keeping this one around even though i don't feel like i've used it enough but i don't want to be too strict with that because a lot of these things i haven't used enough in the past year then i'm just gonna grab these two as well so we have the schooled eyeshadow palette this one only has shimmers i feel like when I bought these, these were some of the most special shimmers in my collection, but they have become a little less special. I feel like a lot of indie brands have upped their game when it comes to shimmery eyeshadows, sparkly eyeshadows like this. But I'm going to be keeping it around because I still see myself going back to this one at some point. Maybe not like super often but i still like the shades in here so, so i want to keep it around for a little bit do feel like this is my least favorite onus eye mini palette i like the other two more this one is actually my favorite and i feel like this is the favorite of most people because it's so amazing so the earth mini eyeshadow palette it just has the most beautiful color story very interesting shades such good quality this dark matte is just so pretty i just feel so inspired when i look at this so i'm gonna be keeping this one around then a palette that i have already decluttered in my mind i already knew what i was going to do with this i used this like once or twice and i hated it so much that i was like this is <laughs> this is gonna be the end for me in this palette i'm not gonna go back into this this is so dusty. It is so lightly pigmented. I don't know how to do a look with this. I don't like the quality. I don't understand this color story. It is just all so light. So light. And just... I cannot do... For the life of me... I cannot do a look with this. That I like. I really tried. So I'm going to declutter this. This was not my eyeshadow palette. Maybe if you like these shades. That you can make this work. But on me... I thought it all just looked so dusty and unimpressive then the dragon fruit eyeshadow palette i got this year it was launched this year and this is a collaboration between cleona cosmetics and emily violet marie i actually really enjoy this palette i want to get back in this and really use it more because there are so many beautiful shades in here so many sparkly textured shades but also quite pigmented satins that you can use in a crease i actually loved all the looks that i did with this i can't wait to really get back to it and use this some more so i'm gonna be keeping this one then we have the fall magic eyeshadow palette by unearthly cosmetics formerly known as alien cosmetics and i think this is such a beautiful color story such 
beautiful quality i really love the shades in here i think this is a gorgeous palette like my favorite color story by alien cosmetics that they have done so far it's the only palette i have from them but i'm really happy that i got this one i can't wait to use this more i feel like it's been too long since i really went into this this shade got smashed but i could press it back i think there are such beautiful shades in here I really like it. I am going to be keeping this one. Then the Kiko Milano A Holiday Fable Ethereal Eyeshadow Palette in 03 Surreal Destination. This is one of my favorite shimmer formulas in my collection because it is so sparkly but in a sophisticated way because the sparkles are really small and it just looks amazing on the eye. I love using these shimmers just popping one of the shimmers on the lid with a different like matte from another palette in the crease i have of course neglected this palette just like all of my eyeshadow palettes basically but i really love it if you can still find this on a deal if you can still find it somewhere it is amazing not all kiko milano shimmer formulas are created equally this is definitely the best one that they have done as far as I've tried. And I'm going to be keeping this one. Then the Catrice X Jenny eyeshadow palette. I actually used this recently. And I have to say it's a really nice palette. I like the mattes. I like the shimmers. This offshore shade is just a very nice. So sparkly. Very textured. Very similar to what you think of when you think of Pat McGrath. It's just very well done i like the packaging i just like all the shades in here and the quality this if you can still find it somewhere it is a good palette i really enjoy it it's a good one so yeah i'm gonna be keeping it then the catrice eyeshadow palette from the tropic exotic collection in tropic escape so i quite like some of the shimmers in here are really nice. I believe that this blue was a little bit lackluster. I like the mattes in here. It is actually a good eyeshadow palette. If you think this one away, I actually really like the shades in here. And I've really enjoyed using this. Like this purple is really nice. So I think I'm actually going to be keeping it around for a little bit longer. Because yeah, I actually really like the quality. And I want to see if I use this a bit more if I don't have that many eyeshadow palettes so yeah gonna be keeping it then the nabla read my mind eyeshadow palette this one was released this year and it took me some time to really review it because it is not my absolute favorite nabla eyeshadow palette i have some nabla eyeshadow palettes that are my absolute tippy top favorites that i would keep if i could only keep like 10 eyeshadow palettes maybe even five like i have some absolute favorites by them but i feel like some of the shades in here are a little bit lackluster the the greens in here didn't fully understand i feel like these two shades didn't both need to be in here i feel like this sparkly shade it gets some hard pen and it doesn't really show up on the eyes the way i want to the mattes in here are really nice this shade is really beautiful it's kind of like multi-chrome and neutral multi-chrome very rose gold pink gold bronze so there are some really beautiful looks i can do with it and i can still see myself going back to this but it's definitely a palette for me with some dots that make me less excited about it so i'm gonna be keeping it but i want to say if you're thinking about buying a nabla eyeshadow palette there are some others that i would recommend over this one but i still like it i just don't feel like it is a must have by the brand then the chocolate martini eyeshadow palette by glam light i believe they released this last year i really like the shimmer formula and the matte formula in here there are so many different shades i think this is a very cute eyeshadow palette have i reached for it in the last six months or so I don't actually think so, but I want to get back into this and I'm excited to use this again. So I am going to be keeping this one. Then the Lunar Beauty Moon Spell Volume 2 Color Palette. I got this in a mystery box. So I actually didn't choose to buy this palette. Um, and at first I was a little bit disappointed. It never really caught my eye before. I didn't really feel like this color story really spoke to me. But I have used it a few times so far since I got it. I haven't used it enough to really review it. But I've used it enough to see what I can do with it. And I actually really like the looks that I've done with it. When I look at it, I don't feel like super inspired. I feel like there are a lot of shades together here that I wouldn't use together. And that are just 
not really the, col the color combinations that I would choose. But in the end, the looks that I do are really nice. So I definitely want to keep it around. Definitely want to try it more. I think it is a nice palette that is a bit unexpected in how flattering and pretty it actually looks on the eyes. So I'm glad that I kind of forced myself to try this in the end by buying the mystery box. I'm actually pleasantly surprised. And then let's just continue with Luna Beauty. This is the Eternal Eclipse color palette. I actually have used this. This is the front. I've actually used this quite a bunch. I quite like it. I like a lot of the shades in here. I can get quite a nice neutral look. I, I have to try out these blues and grays a little bit more before I can really review it. But so far I've focus on these rows and I've actually really liked it. I think the quality of the mattes is really nice. The shimmers are beautiful and sparkly. I really like this palette. Gonna be keeping this around and I'm gonna do my best to really give you my final review of this one and the Moonspell Volume 2 before the end of the year. I'm gonna be focusing on it. I'm gonna try. Then the Martina Cosmetics Martinez Diner eyeshadow palette. I bought this a few months ago, did a review of it on my channel. I think it's an interesting palette. I've done some really pretty looks with it. The mattes I actually think are really nice, but some of the shimmers are just a little bit too soft for me. I didn't really like this yellow. It didn't really work for me. I don't know why, but like these deeper mattes are really nice. I actually really like some of the looks that I did were like quite impressive. So it's one where I'm like, it's not my perfect eyeshadow palette. There are some shades in here that I don't like as much. It's a bit challenging to come up with looks, but at the same time, there are some really pretty shades in here and it is newer in my collection. So I'm gonna be keeping it, but I don't know if it will be around forever and ever. It's not my absolute, absolute favorite. Then the Nomad Cosmetics Paradise Islands palette, I believe this one is. Yeah, Par Paradise Islands. So I thought the packaging of this and the color story of this looked so cute. I was very excited to finally try Nomad Cosmetics. I had heard some good things about them, but I couldn't get on with this palette. I felt like a lot of the mattes were just too thin, not pigmented enough. I didn't like most of these mattes and if I look back at the looks that I did, there was just something about them. It didn't look like very nice, blended and appealing. It just looked a little bit, I don't know, just looked a little bit off. And then the shimmers in here, I didn't really like. Like a few of them are a little bit more pigmented and sparkly, but most of them I found very lackluster. Lacking in pigment, but also lacking in shine and just too satiny and not... Like, not a type of shimmer that I'm into. So, for me, this whole palette is actually a dud. I don't like it. It's it's not for me. I've heard some people really rave about Nomad Cosmetics. They really like the brand. It is not me. I'm gonna declutter this palette. Then, the Nude Prism Color Palette by Luna Beauty. This is actually one of my favorite eyeshadow palettes, especially from this year, that were launched this year. I really love the packaging, the vibe. And the colors and quality in here, it is very basic in a way, but the shimmers in here are amazing. The mattes blend so beautifully. I really love the looks that I've done with this and I have gone into this palette a bunch this year. I really love it. Highly recommend it. The shimmers in here are just stunning, stunning, stunning. So shiny, so sparkly, but in a very nice and creamy way. I really enjoy this palette. So yeah. I am gonna be keeping this one. Then one of the newer palettes in my collection is the Colourpop Clay It Cool eyeshadow palette. I think the quality in this is really nice. It is a good quality palette. The shimmers in here are beautiful. I don't really need this creamy eyeshadow in my life. I don't use it. This shade I don't use, but the other shades, they're great quality. We have a range of shades, but I do feel like the looks I do with this are always a bit similar, like the undertones of all the shades are the same. So it's good quality, but for me, it's not like an absolute favorite. It is not like revolutionary. It is not that amazing, even though there's nothing bad I can say about the quality because it's very pigmented, blendable, everything, very nice quality of the shimmers. But for me, it's just not like an absolute new favorite, but I'm gonna be keeping it around. I'm gonna give it more of a chance because there still could be something for us, like something could still happen. I could still really get into this palette. Like sometimes you have 
a palette or a product like a makeup product in your collection for a year and then all of a sudden you start using it and you discover how much you actually love it so i feel like that could still happen with some of these palettes so i'm gonna be keeping it around even though i'm not like screaming from the rooftops how much i love this then the onus eye christmas eve eyeshadow palette i recently got this in i did one look with it so far i really love the color story really like the quality so far definitely gonna be keeping it i don't think that i would declutter it because i'm just so inspired when i look at this palette the packaging is amazing the quality is amazing so i'm gonna be keeping this then i actually tried gloss cuts for the first time about a month ago i think i got the new neutrals remixed eyeshadow palette that is more like neutral nude with a green undertone and with kind of like green and gold peachy kind of multi-chromes in there we have some very sparkly shades a lot of different formulas very nice matte everything works amazing in here and then we have the vintage glam remix which is very similar but this is more purple leaning kind of rosy once again we have very nice mattes a lot of different options and we have a lot of different textures in here some some duochromes, very sparkly shades. I really love the quality in these palettes. I'm a big fan, definitely gonna be keeping them around. I'm still reviewing them, but I really love these so far. I foresee these being like in my 2022 favorites. They are so nice. I really am so glad that I tried this brand because it's also a European indie brand and I always like not having to pay like duties and taxes and things like that and like very high shipping. So yeah, I'm really into these. These are really like what my makeup style is like right now. I love neutrals, but I love texture. I love unexpected things. I like a pop of color. I like mixing some different like warm tones and cool tones so i'm gonna be keeping these both then the pat mcgrath labs and bridgerton eyeshadow palette the first one that they did they also did a second one this year but this is the first one and this is the one in diamond of the first water so i was really excited when this collection was announced i bought it i think right away when it launched it was a bit expensive for me, but I was really into this idea. And to be honest, I was a bit disappointed by this palette because these two shades, they are very similar on the eye. They are not like extremely pigmented. They're like this beige gelade formula, but it doesn't really translate on the eye. The color doesn't really translate on the eye the way I would want it to. This is quite a nice shade. It's kind of like a grayish purple to blue shimmery shade, which is kind of like the only special shade in the palette because this is just so basic, just like these rosy brown nudes. I feel like the effort wasn't put in this palette and they really leaned on it being a Bridgerton collab for it to sell. I, in the end, never felt like reaching for this again. But it's still kind of new in my collection. So I do, I do want to keep this around for a little bit longer. But it's not my favorite. I just want to see if there's something else I can do with it. If maybe this shade can be worth it for me to keep it. It is kind of cute packaging, but... It is definitely a little bit of a dud. Or should I should I put this in the maybe pile? But it's Pat McGrath and I paid quite a lot of money for it. And I don't really like decluttering things that were so expensive. I'm gonna put it in a maybe pile. I'm gonna see at the end how much I have decluttered because I feel like more declutters are coming. It's a difficult one. It's a tough one. So the Catrice Caviar Gouge Limited Edition Heaven Scent Eyeshadow Palette. I think this is kind of a cute eyeshadow palette, but it's definitely not special. There's nothing really special about it. The only thing special about it is the packaging, just the inside. These shimmers are not that amazing. I don't understand why I need this matte in a four pan palette. For me, it doesn't do anything. I never use it, especially when the shade you put in the crease is so light, you don't According to me, I need a shade like this to blend it out or to set the primer or anything. So I'm going to be decluttering this one. I don't like this enough to keep it around, even though the packaging is really cute. Then the Nabla Dreamy 2 eyeshadow palette, the Mystic palette, I actually really like. I haven't used it in a bit, but I really want to get back to it because there are some shades in here that are just 
so pretty i love this hidden play shade i love libertine i love mirabilia i think deja vu is such a nice shade like there are so many nice options in this palette so i'm gonna be keeping around and i want to use it more in the fall winter now we're getting into winter i want to use it more in the winter then the juvia's place will holla to eyeshadow palette i have not gone into enough for sure but i kind of still want to keep it around for these three rows like not all of this is so impressive to me but this these three rows i really like like the mattes in there the shimmers in there we have a lot of dual chromes it is just an interesting palette with some very cute looks to be done and i just want to keep it around for a little bit longer just to see what else i can do with it if i go back into these shades i don't really feel like i have this combination of shades like this together in another eyeshadow palette and it still inspires me even though i haven't really gone back into it enough yeah i think i'm gonna be keeping it around for a little bit but it could be one that i declutter in a bit like at my next declutter, it could be gone. Then we have the three eyeshadow palettes by Odin's Eye that they did in collaboration with different YouTubers about a year ago. First up, we have the Hummingbird palette, which was in collaboration with the Fancy Face. Love this color story. It's a bit colorful for me, but I really like the shades in here. I really like the shade Fancy, which is this multi-chrome on the bottom. It's a bit out there for me and my makeup style right now, but I can still see myself going into this. Really love the quality. I think this was a really nice collection. Then we have the Red Dragon palette that was a collaboration with Judy. It's a very nice warm toned neutral palette with some very nice pops in there. Some pops of green, which I really enjoy. Really like this palette i'm gonna be keeping it around then the giant wolves palette this was my favorite or was it my favorite or my second favorite in a way it was my favorite eyeshadow palette of last year i think this color story is so inspiring love the shimmers i love the mess there's some absolutely stunning looks with it and i want to use it again i want to use it more so i'm gonna be keeping this then the glam light what's it called the it doesn't have the name on it this was i think the red velvet cupcake palette i want to keep this around i quite like the shades in here i quite like the shimmers in here it's a little bit light in a way but i feel like if i just go in with one deeper shade from another palette then i can really do a look that i like and i've done some really cute looks with it so i don't want to get rid of it yet even though it's not like my absolute favorite i still enjoy it then we have the don't worry b palette by essence i'm gonna be keeping this around i quite like the quality it's really nice to travel with i did some cute looks with it that i like it's not like super versatile but it's very practical and it's just a nice quite a nice palette i quite like it so i'm gonna be keeping this one then the last one of the planet inspired mini eyeshadow palettes by martina cosmetics this is the mercury one and i really like the shades in here the mattes in here are so nice the shimmers in here are beautiful i'm gonna be keeping this i did one of my favorite looks ever with this eyeshadow palette so yeah gonna be keeping that for sure then we have the colourpop bambi flower eyeshadow palette and i got this especially for the shade in the middle which is a purple to gold duochrome there was a time in my life that i was obsessed with finding a purple gold duochrome and it is a really nice shade to be honest it's like very pretty the other purples in here work very well i think it is a cute palette but it's a very specific look i can do with it so i don't know if i should keep it around because it's not that versatile but i do feel like the purple to gold duochrome in here it's a little bit like softer it's a little bit more gray in undertone than some other purples that i have that are a little bit similar i'm gonna put this in the maybe pile i'm gonna see how i feel about it at the end of this declutter next up we have the hella palette by odin's eye and angelica nick fist i really love this palette i love the greens in here i love the yellow tones i think it's such a cute palette great quality i'm really into it i really love the packaging and i really love angelica nick fist so i'm gonna be keeping this one then we have the glam light dirty martini palette love the quality i think this is a very cute color story i don't have that many like green leaning green focused eyeshadow palettes so this is definitely adding something to my glam 
collection and I want to keep it around. Then the Saharan 2 by Juvia's Place. I have kept this through a few rounds of the clutters because I really think the shimmer formula in here is really nice, but I haven't touched it. I don't feel excited to use this. I don't feel like I really need this in my life. I don't feel like this was ever the perfect palette for me. I kept it around because the quality is nice, but I just never reach for it. So it is time for this one to go. I've been so close with decluttering this one for many times, like many, many times, but it is time to let this go. Then next up, we have the Geodes palette by What's Up Beauty. I bought this because I'd heard some really good things about it. And I think it is a nice palette, but for me, the mattes in here are just not as interesting as the shimmers. I really like the shimmers. You do kind of have to use them with a the glitter glue, otherwise they won't look as amazing. This is pretty new in my collection, so I want to keep it around. For me, it's not an absolute favorite because I don't feel like all of the shades in this palette are as beautiful, interesting, gorgeous as some others, but I definitely want to give it like a real chance give it some time in my collection to see if it can convince me still it could be then the glaminatrix nearly natural eyeshadow palette i've actually not used this yet it's kind of like the same story as a nocturnal palette it never felt like the right time to use this when i got these they were already like a bit older in the makeup community i didn't feel like people were still waiting for reviews and i wasn't filming that much so i was like you know what i'll just wait until I think it's the right time to use it for me. So I still have to dig in. I'm sure I'm gonna like this a lot because so far I really actually like the Glaminatrix formula, but yeah, didn't really feel like the right time. So it's nothing personal, nothing wrong with this palette. I just really have to find the right time and just go for it. So yeah, I'm gonna be keeping this. All right, I took a tiny break to rest my voice a bit, grab some tea, and now we're gonna get on with it. I still have quite some palettes to go, and I feel like I'm gonna be decluttering a little bit more from now on. Here we have the Silent Night palette by Glaminatrix Cosmetics. I'm not gonna be decluttering this one. I really like the shimmers in here, really like the mattes. I feel like there are some inconsistencies here with the mattes. I don't like them all equally. I feel like this green was a little bit like softly pigmented and not as blendable as the rest. But all in all, I really like this palette. I did some really pretty looks with it. I'm quite into it. And I want to dig into this again. Like with so many of these palettes, I want to use them again. I have plans to really get back into my makeup collection. I've been doing that a lot more. But I also want to get into some palettes that I haven't used in like a year or so. And really give them another chance to become a favorite and to get them in my routine. Because I feel like the things that I have been using are the things that are just very easy for me to grab. So the new things and things that are just like at the front that were just easy to grab and just stuck in my mind and I went back to. So yeah want to use this one again so I'm going to be keeping it. Then we have the Anastasia Norvina palette and I always feel a little bit unsure about this palette but then when I do a look with it I'm like it's so pretty. It's just a very interesting formula Um I really like the shimmers in here and the mattes in here once they're on the eyes. I feel like a few years ago when I bought these, I wasn't skilled enough to actually use it. I didn't really understand the formula. Now I feel like I can pretty easily use it and do quite a nice look with it. I want to keep it around for just a little while longer, but there's just something with me in this palette that makes me not go for it enough. And I really I want to see what it is about. I feel like at the start of the year when I was like, I'm going to do a project pen, which I didn't do in the end. You might have noticed. At the start of the year, I put this in my project pen. Um, yeah, that didn't really happen. <laughs> Nothing really happened with that. But I still want to see if I can use this a little bit more. In the end, I have used this more than a lot of the other palettes in my collection. Still, I feel like I'm neglecting it more than other palettes. It's a bit of a strange relationship there. But yeah, I want to do more looks with it because I do think it's a really pretty palette. Next up, we have the Essence eyeshadow palette from the Jurassic World collection. And I'm a bit unsure what to do with it because there's a look I sometimes do with this palette that I actually really enjoy with this green over here that I think is a really nice matte, a really nice green. Do I feel like I need this palette 
for this green? I don't know. Do I have this green somewhere else in my collection? I'm gonna, I'm gonna see. All right, it's not in here. This one is different. Maybe this one, but I feel like this one is a little bit more green. Yes. I feel like it's just, it's an, it's a unique shade. And I really love this green. Just the grayness of it and just how blendable it is and how it really takes a look to another level. Um, I've said that I don't find this palette to be very versatile, but I do like the look that I do with it. I do like the shades in here. I like the shimmers. Like these are very satiny. These two are a little bit more interesting. I feel like I want to keep it for just a little longer and see if I will reach for it for that green because it is a very nice shade. Usually I don't really go into palettes for one shade, but I just, I just want to see what will happen. I know I'm fooling myself, but still, I do don't think I'm ready to get rid of this. Next up, we have the Catrice Fall in Colors eyeshadow palette. I really love this palette. I think it's amazing. I think it's great. Beautiful matte formula, beautiful shimmer formula. It's really sparkly. Gonna be keeping it. It is actually one of my favorites. And my favorite eyeshadow palette I've tried by Catrice, I think. Then we have the Catrice Pocahontas eyeshadow palette. They released this last year. I actually think I did some pretty cute looks with it. And I quite like the palette. Like, there are some nice shades in there. Some nice kind of toppers. Some nice sparkly shades. Um, like, this is a nice shadow. Like, there are a bunch of nice shadows in here. This, this shouldn't have swatched that because I'm kind of changing my mind. But I... I think it is time for me to let go of this palette, even though I quite like it. It is not available anymore. I don't feel like really reaching for it. And I feel like these shades I have somewhere else in better quality, like even better quality that I like even more that is still available that I just think is a little bit more interesting. This makes me think of kind of like a combination of the two eyeshadow palettes I got by Gloss Gods. And I like those more. So I'm... Yeah, I think I'm gonna get rid of this. It's not because it's bad quality. I just feel like this doesn't really have a place in my collection. Even though if you still see it and if you think this is a great color story, I still would say this is a pretty nice palette. Like, there are some nice shades in here. I have to admit, I have to admit, but I just have to make some space in my life. So this is gonna go. Next up, we have one that I'm never gonna declutter ever, even though I don't use this a ton because it's a bit like colorful for me. But this eyeshadow palette, the Club Nebula by Kaleidos and Angelica Nickfist, it's not available anymore, but it's just so good. It's so beautiful. I love the packaging. I love everything about it. Just the color story. It's amazing, so inspiring. I love the shimmers in here. The matte formula is impeccable. I am so into this palette. And yeah, I don't do a ton of looks with it because like we have some options to be a little bit more neutral, but I always feel like it goes into the like very pigmented, colorful realm pretty easily, which isn't a bad thing. That is the point of this palette. But for me, sometimes a little bit, I'm a little bit scared to go and use this. Let's see. Yeah, this is much more blue than this other shade. It is much more gray, but with this really interesting green on the tone. Okay, I gotta stop thinking about that essence eyeshadow palette. Um, I love this palette. I think it's amazing. I'm never gonna get rid of it. I'm just too big a fan of Angelica Nickfist and this whole formula and the whole vibe. I, I just have to... Once again, get back into it. But this was, this was like my, this was my favorite palette of last year, and it's still so good. It still holds up, and I've loved every look that I did with it. It's just a little bit out there. It's a little bit like it's not a safe choice for me personally, but it is so good. Next up, we have another Nabla palette. This is a secret palette. I believe I bought this this year. I believe so. I'm not 100% sure, but I think I did. It's a cute palette with a cute color story. You have some shades in here that are a bit satiny for my taste. Like a lot of satin shimmers in here. But the mattes are really nice. We have some special sparkling shades in here as well. It is not my perfect Nabla palette. But there are some like nice tones in here. I like the blues. Um, I definitely want to keep it around for a little bit. Give it another chance. See how I like it. If I really go into it. If I really use it some more. I did review this. But I feel like I also forgot a bit about it again. I did a, I did a look recently with it. With this Hyper Sensual shade. Which I actually really like. Yeah, I think it's an interesting palette. Definitely not my favorite. My favorite by Nabla is coming 
in a little bit. Yeah, I want to keep it. I want to keep it around for a little bit longer. I like the packaging. I like the vibe. Yes. Then one of my absolute favorites in my collection that I've actually used a bunch recently, which is kind of not surprising, but interesting for someone who hasn't worn makeup that much. I'm just, I'm just happy that I use this a bunch. It is so easy for me to use, especially these top two rows I go into a lot for very simple looks. This is just a really nice palette. We have a lot of different options when it comes to the textures, when it comes to the mattes, when it comes to the undertones. A really nice palette, like some really interesting colors in here. I'm really into it. And I've really been going into like these mattes, keeping it pretty simple, smoking the lash line a little bit out with this or this or a combination of both. I really like this palette. But at some point there was just this point in time where I was like, why don't I use side-by-side -side nude more? I love it so much, why don't I? And now I've really gone into it and I'm like, things are finally the way they are supposed to be. This palette deserves my attention. Then another favorite is the Glam Light Ice Cream Dream eyeshadow palette. I really love it. To be honest, I've gone into this more for the neutrals than for the very colorful shades. We do have some bright pinks here, which could be very similar to the pinks in the Everlasting Blooms palette. Give me a second. Uh, I don't feel like this one is really similar, but these two are. So it's not like exactly the same, but we do have some bright pinks in there. And now that we're comparing pinks, I'm just gonna grab the Hella palette. This pink is a little bit deeper than that one. It's a little bit more toned down, but I feel like everything, like these all together, can give me a similar vibe. But for some reason, this palette kind of it inspires me a bit. I don't know what to do with it yet. But I'm going to be keeping the Ice Cream Dream eyeshadow palette. I really love it. It's a favorite. It is just a really nice one. Great quality. Next up, we have the new nude eyeshadow palette by Huda Beauty. This is one that I've had in my collection for quite some time and never really use. I don't use it a lot. And my fingers are already really dirty. <laughs> Whoops. I do like the quality, but there's just something about these shades. They look different on the eye, I feel, than they do in the palette, which makes it a little bit hard to decide what to actually do with it. But look, these shades, like this, this is so pretty. It is so pretty, but I don't feel like I go into it enough. And I ha really have to remind myself to go into this. And I keep going like, should I declutter it or not? But it's so... The shimmers, they are very nice. Just look at... I hope you can kind of see the shine. And the mattes, they are pigmented, but they just pull a bit different on the eye than I expect them to. And so I don't really go into it. Uh, I feel like this is a maybe, but I kind of don't want to get rid of this, 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 and this. This because I've done some really nice looks with that. Yeah, I'm gonna put it in the maybe pile. It's also a bit of an expensive eyeshadow palette. <laughs> I did spend some money on it, so I don't want to be like too quick to declutter it. I don't know why I never use it. It just feels a little bit irrelevant by now. Like nobody talks about this anymore. I think I just wanna I wanna compare it to the new Glass Gods palettes that I got. I don't think it's similar to that, but maybe it's similar to this one. I just wanna swatch this shade next to it. Is this similar enough? Does this satisfy my cravings for such a shade? And is this how do I feel? This one, okay, that is definitely deeper and kind of smoky. Okay, it's not the same, but these two shades, I would say that they're pretty similar. Okay, I still, I have to think about it a little bit. I'm not entirely sure. I don't know why, but sometimes I am just not that good at decluttering things. I just hold on. A bit too tight. Next up we have the Sweet Affairs Guilty Pleasure Eyeshadow Palette by Kiko Milano. I recently used this again and I actually think it is a pretty cute palette. I do like the look. It's not like the shimmers are crazy pigmented all of them but there are some nice ones here. There's some something interesting about this palette and when I actually use it I quite like it on me. I feel like it's a pretty flattering eyeshadow formula and that is why I'm gonna be keeping it around for just a bit longer. Next up, we have the Kiko Charming Escape Maxi Eyeshadow Palette in 01 Green View. And 
I am a bit unsure what to do with it. It's kind of a cute palette, but the shimmer formula is not all that. We have quite a few light shades. It doesn't give you like a super impactful pigmented look. I wanted to keep this around because I think that the packaging is so cute. It is so beautiful. I really wish that this pigmentation, like this quality was as good as it gets with Kiko because I would keep it around because it's so beautiful. But I think keeping it around just for the packaging, it's not gonna work anymore because I just don't reach for it. And I don't think, I just don't think that this quality is amazing. So I'm gonna declutter it with pain in my heart because it's so beautiful to look at. Like this was the most beautiful collection Kiko ever did. Did. I hope you can kind of see like the birds and the flowers. I love this style of packaging, but it just, this just wasn't for me. And I still have some other things from this collection that I really enjoy. So I can still enjoy this packaging in another way. Then we have these two Smashbox palettes. They are the Cover Shot Prism eyeshadow palette and the Cover Shot Punked eyeshadow palette. And I was pretty sure like a month ago, I was pretty sure that I was gonna get rid of these because they are older in my collection. I felt like they can't be that special anymore. I have so many beautiful eyeshadow palettes, but then I did a few looks with these and I loved the way it looked. I th just thought I looked so beautiful. Like there was just something magical about those looks and that made me realize that I can't get rid of these. They're so easy to travel with these shades. Especially the matte shades in this palette are so beautiful and blendable and just look amazing on me. I had to say, like, these are the perfect shadow shades to add some depth in the crease for me. So I really thought that this was gonna be the end for these, for these being in my collection, but I'm still gonna be keeping them around. Then one of my absolute favorites in my collection is the Nabla Dreamy eyeshadow palette. I just love this combination of shades. I love the shimmers in here. I love the mattes. I think these mid-tone shades are really nice. I love this deepening up shade. It's a gorgeous palette. I even put it in my top three eyeshadow palettes last year. It is so good. I really like it. Love all the looks that I do with it. It's so easy for me to grab. And it's just a little bit more interesting than just a neutral palette, which I really enjoy. So that is why... I am definitely keeping this one around. Next up, we have the BH Cosmetics Blueberry Muffin Palette. And who remembers the craze, the blueberry muffin craze? Everybody buying this, everybody loving this. This was Angelica Nickfist's favorite palette of, I believe, 2020 or something like that. And I have to say, I've done some really nice looks with it and the blues in it are really nice but at the same time i don't know if i should keep this because i never reach for it i did a few looks that i really liked but do i really need this still in my life i'm totally covered in swatches so i'm just gonna put it over here like these are really nice blues they are but i never reach for this palette and i don't know if i really need to keep this i feel also with this palette once again you aren't really like getting what you think you're getting. Like this is very purple and you don't really expect it. Some of these shimmers, they look a lot different on the eyes than you would expect. Do I really feel like I personally need to keep this around? Even though I feel like so many people like it. But does it mean that I have to like it? Uh, I think it's a tough one. I also have this one and... I like the vibes of this palette as a whole more. And we have similar shades here that I feel like I can do a similar look with. We even have those kind of like sparkly silvery shades. But we also have some green blues that I like to combine it with. We also have this one to deepen it up. I feel like I don't really need the blueberry muffin anymore in my life. I feel like I'm kind of betraying the beauty community. But... I don't know if I really need this. Like, okay, that is a pretty shimmer. That is a really nice shimmer. But do I need this palette? I feel like even though the shimmers are nice, they don't look that different in the pan that I'm like, I need all of these. I feel like it is a nice palette. But it doesn't inspire me personally. So I think it's time for me to get rid of it. I feel a bit weird. It feels a bit weird doing this. But I think... 
I'm making the right decision. All right, so I cleaned up my hand, put some comparison swatches on it again. Let's continue with another Essence palette. So this is the Essence eyeshadow palette by Merve. I actually thought it was pretty nice quality. I quite like the palette. There are some nice shades in here, but I have not once this past year or since I got it, thought about using this one again. Even though it is pretty nice quality for Essence, there are some nice shades in here, you can do some pretty looks. I don't think it's interesting enough for me. So I'm gonna be decluttering this one. Then the Kiko Blossoming Beauty eyeshadow palette in 01 Flight of the Butterfly. I actually really like this eyeshadow palette in a way, but there is one dot in here that makes me go like, why, why? This one is actually, it gets some hard pen, but I really like this combination of shades because, because we have some rosy mauve tones and then there's kind of like deeper coppery shade. I really like all of this together. I'm gonna give it another shot. I'm gonna keep it in my collection for a little bit longer because I really like this combination, but I just have to see if I can get rid of this hard pen a little bit. Maybe with some sticky tape, maybe with a spoolie. I want to see if I can make this work. I feel like I can still like swatch this. I can still get it on my eye, but a bit disappointed with the hard pen. I feel like Kiko usually does better with these eyeshadow palette formats. So yeah, I'm going to be keeping it, but I don't know if I'm going to be keeping it forever but i do i like it i'm just a little bit disappointed then we have the catrice pro slim eyeshadow palette in natural spirit and i actually really like this eyeshadow palette we have some nice like brown green shades in here that work very nice in the crease we have some nice shimmers as well not like the most sparkly shades or like very interesting shades but I can get some pretty looks with this palette. I like the fall vibes, they inspire me. So I'm actually gonna be keeping this one. Actually, I quite like it, I quite like it. It's a good eyeshadow palette, one of my favorites from Catrice that I've tried. Then we have the Melt She's in Parties eyeshadow palette. And I am actually not that big a fan of this eyeshadow palette. I think the shimmers in here are very lackluster and those are like five of the shades and then three of the shades I like which is not a whole lot. I do have to say that the undertones of these shades, of these purples, they are a little bit different. They are a little bit hard to find in other eyeshadow palettes. When I did the look, I thought, yeah, it's a different kind of purple. They do look more purple on the eyes than they do in the pan. And I don't know, should I keep it for these three shades? Like it is this very smoky, plummy purple that I don't feel like is that easy to find. But on the other hand, three shades is not a lot. To like three shades in an eight pen palette, like that's less than half. I also have the Flutter By eyeshadow palette by Colourpop. And I actually like this quality a lot. And I feel like some of these shades have a little bit of a similar vibe even though they are more rosy brown than they are this very purpley gray tone but i feel like this can give a similar kind of look but not like exactly the same but the shimmers in here are actually really really nice it's a beautiful palette i'm gonna be keeping that one but am i gonna be keeping the she's in parties i do feel like i couldn't find a dupe for these mattes and the mattes are very nice but it's just the rest of the palette really let me down like even this shade that looks kind of sparkly i didn't feel like it really showed up on the eyes i'm gonna put this in a maybe pile i'm gonna think about it just a little bit longer just to keep things moving then we have the at forest side palette by raw beauty christy and colourpop it is actually a nice palette with some nice shades and I've done some looks with it that I've really enjoyed. Um, the shimmers in here I find like luster but the mattes in here I really like. I also really like the packaging. It's not my perfect palette but when I do a look with it there's just something about the undertones and the mattes that really inspire me and I think it, it's a really cute look when I 
combine it with the right shades. So I'm thinking I want to keep it for a little bit longer, but it's not my absolute favorite because I'm just a shimmer girl. I love, I love a good shimmer and this doesn't give me that. But I feel like these mattes, there is something special about them. So I'm going to be keeping this one. I feel kind of weak. I feel like I should declutter more, but I'm going to go back to the maybe bar. I'm going to think it over a little bit what I will do. I might change my mind about some things in the end. We are on to the last basket. I have here the NARS Climax eyeshadow palette. I bought this last fall and I actually think it is a nice eyeshadow palette with some nice shades and yeah, I've really liked the looks that I've done with it. I think... Um, is it similar enough? Is that similar enough? It's a little bit lighter. Slightly lighter. Okay, there's so, there's so much going on in my arm right now. Could this be a way to get this purpley gray plum vibe? Without she's in parties. Let me just swatch this one as well. I feel like this one is a bit more nude. Yeah, it's a bit more nude and rosy. But this shade could be... It does have the right undertone, I feel. If you combine these two, this is what you get. I'm gonna keep this for sure. And I'm gonna think about if I think this is enough for me to have that kind of tone in my life. And that makes me think... This makes me think of the Fall in Colors eyeshadow palette. Because I feel like we have some of these shades kind of in the palette. Can I... Okay, it's not the same, but it is a vibe. Mm, I feel like these two together could give me that. And then the... Okay, I hope you can kind of see it. Like this one and that one together can be this one. And I really like the shimmers in here. I like this entire palette, basically. I feel like this is much better than Mel Cheese and Parties. I am moving towards a declutter. But it's, it's an expensive palette. But do I need it to take up space in my life? I don't actually think so. Interesting. This is an interesting development. Next, we have the Lilac You Lot by Colourpop. I really like the quality in here. It has some really bright purples that I'm really into. Really like the duochromes in here as well. We have some really nice purpley shades. I'm gonna compare this to the Flower Eyeshadow Palette. Excuse me. The Flower Eyeshadow Palette. I feel like it is very similar, but not exactly the same shades. And the flower eyeshadow palette is so cute. I really like the packaging. I like the whole vibe of Bambi. So, okay. It's not a complete way to make that palette disposable. So, I'm gonna keep lighting a lot. I'm gonna think a bit longer about the flower palette. Then we have the Strawberry Shake. For a while, the Strawberry Shake was actually my favorite eyeshadow palette in my collection. And I still really like it because we have a bunch of different tones. You can really deepen up a look with these shades. You can go peachy, you can go pink, you can go a little bit more neutral. We have some really nice sparkles. I really love this palette. I'm gonna be keeping this one. Then the Going Coconuts is one of my favorites. I have used it recently and I've used it a bunch over the years that I've had this. I don't know if I've had this for like years years but uh at least a year for sure um i really like the tones in here really like the mattes really like the shimmers i think it's an amazing palette i'm gonna be keeping it this one is hyped for a reason then we have the nabla cutie palettes in midnight and in analog and midnight i wasn't that big a fan of like this shade, this shade, this blue shade found it hard to blend. These two shades, not that interesting. This shade, not that interesting. Quiet Storm, beautiful shimmer, but very similar to things I own. Sapphire though, very creamy, very shiny, like so impactful. So these two shimmers are so nice, actually so nice. But in its entirety, this palette doesn't really inspire me as much as some other things. So do I need to keep this? That is the question. I am totally covered in eyeshadow. There is like eyeshadow everywhere. Okay, we also have the analog palette. And I actually felt like all of the shades in here worked well. It's a beautiful neutral palette with some cooler tones. This overexposed shade, really nice. This one, really shiny. 
really nice quality so i actually want to keep this one for sure i was really into this but this palette i don't know if i still need it i'm gonna grab the colourpop blue moon this one i think i got like a year ago or something like that i really wanted to add some blues to my collection let me see about this mad about you yeah it is not as shiny it doesn't have the same impact as that nabla one this one is just so creamy, but do I need to keep it? Like, this is very similar to a shade in the uh, Club Nebula palette by Angelica Nyquist and Kaleidos. But this one, do I have anything like this? I don't know, but do I need this? Do I need to keep the palette? I'm gonna keep the Blue Moon for sure because I really like the mattes here. Really like the whole vibe of this palette. It really inspires me. I think it's a very cute eyeshadow palette with good quality then i'm just gonna put this in a maybe pile because i'm not entirely sure what i want to do with it it is a difficult one then we have the colourpop wine and only eyeshadow palette so this is like a wine red and i actually really like the quality of this one i think the mattes in here are really nice the shimmers in here as well can go a little bit more like almost neutral a little bit toned down a little bit bright i'm gonna be keeping this i liked the looks that i did with this then the frozen 2 anna palette i mostly bought for the packaging and just the vibes because it is so beautiful like the drawings on here the purple shade but the inside i don't know if it's like enough for me i'm just gonna swatch this as well okay this is definitely more purple it's not the same i like the shades but at the same time I don't really reach for this one. I feel the pressed glitter kind of turns me off from the palette. I don't really use that. This is just a little bit too yellowy gold. These two are really warm. Uh, I feel like because I don't really like the, these two shimmers. I only have this option really. And this palette just doesn't give me a whole lot I feel. And once again I feel like I want to keep this. Because of the packaging. I really want this to stay in my collection. Like it's so pretty. But do I ever take this out and look at it? Do I ever take it out and use it? No. So I think it's time for me to declutter this. I think I bought and kept this for the wrong reasons. And it is time to let go. Alright I think it is time again to wash this arm. <laughs> Because this is getting out of hand. Literally. Alright. I cleaned up a little bit. Try to. I'm almost through my pile of eyeshadows. I have just a few left. Here I have the Kiko Mood Boost Metro Color Eyeshadow Palette. I really like this eyeshadow palette. The mattes. Super blendable. Really nice. The shimmers. Are gorgeous. I'm really into this. It's one of my favorites actually. And I want to use it more. So I'm going to be keeping that. Then the Juvia's Place. The Bronzed Rustic Eyeshadow Palette. The shades in here pull very warm, but I really like them. It's really nice quality. But do I do I need this still? Do I need to keep this? Do I feel like I have to keep this around? Like it's good quality, but do I personally need this? Like those are very, very warm shades. I feel like it's time to let go of this one. I don't feel like I personally really need it. I feel like if you're more into warm tones, like really warm tones, because it pulls really warm, then this is nice for you. But it's a bit too much for me in the end, I think. Even though I really love the quality, I don't really go into it because it is so like warm yellow orange in undertone. And then actually the last eyeshadow palette is this Saga of Freya eyeshadow palette from the Saga of Freya collection by Ona's Eye. This one has two sides and it's kind of like a book. So we have this side that's more warm rosy a bit plummy with a pop of silver and then we also have this side that's a little bit more like cool toned in a way but we also have a pop of orange i quite like this eyeshadow palette it's not my favorite from Odin's eye i think this is a really nice palette i did some really nice looks with it but other Odin's eye palettes have impressed me more i would say if you are gonna choose one um, this is not the first one I would say go for, but it's really nice and I want to use it a bit more for sure. Alright, let's pull out the maybe pile. We have this Midnight Cutie palette and even though I like two of the shades and this sapphire shade is like so shiny, so shiny, like intensely shiny, I don't think I should keep this in my life. I feel like... 
I could find something like that somewhere. Somewhere out there, there is a shade like this. Maybe it is really creamy though, but I don't feel like it's worth keeping this eyeshadow palette for that one. I don't even wear blue eyeshadow that much. Okay, this is gonna go in the declutter pile. Then the melt she's in parties. I think I have decided on, even though I've wanted this for a really long time. And I still think that these shades are quite hard to duplicate. I think that I don't need this taking up space in my collection because I only like three of the shades. And to get the look that I would want from this, I would only use like two. So I think it is time for this one to go. I'm, I'm just a bit disappointed. I am like more than a bit disappointed and Melt is just not my brand apparently because i'd heard that there was that this was the best one well i don't like it then we have the new nude by huda beauty do i want to keep this around for a little bit longer but i'm always like keeping it around for a little bit longer i'm gonna give it one more chance i know i'm a bit weak right now but i've been filming for a really long time and <laughs> i am i do not have the strength to declutter this one right now so Yes, I'm gonna keep it for just a little bit longer. Then we have the Essence Everlasting Blooms eyeshadow palette. I've decided that I'm gonna declutter this. Like the, the pinks in here, they are nice, but I can find them somewhere else in my collection. I can combine some things. If I really want this look, I can make it work. I don't really need this taking up space. So this is gonna go actually, even though I've given it quite a good review. It's just not enough for me to keep this. Then the Bambi eyeshadow palette I have decided to keep because it is very like compact. It's an easy go-to purple look and I really like purple eyeshadow. So I think I'm gonna keep this for a little bit longer at least. Then we have the Pat McGrath and Bridgerton collection. I think I wanna use it at least once more before I really make up my mind. So I am gonna be keeping this one. And then lastly, we have this Kiko Milano My Mini Eyeshadow Palette. I just have to take another look at it. So I really like these two shimmers. And I really like some of these mattes. I think in the end, the only one that I didn't really like was this grayish green. So I want to give it another shot. I want to keep it around for a little bit longer, do like one or two looks with it and then really decide. I feel like I would be a little bit too fast if I would get rid of it right now. All right, I'm just gonna grab all of the eyeshadow palettes that I'm gonna declutter. So there are 15 eyeshadow palettes here that I'm gonna declutter. I, st I started out with 84. It's gonna be a bit difficult to get the rest of the eyeshadow palettes that I have not decluttered in frame. So I'm just not gonna try and do that. So I am down to 69. I'm just gonna think a little bit if there's something else I wanna add. I feel like I could have been a little stricter. But on the other hand, I find it a little bit difficult to be really strict with my declutters if I have not used a bunch of this makeup in a while. Like it's hard to judge when you don't really remember that well what something was like. I feel like if I really get into my collection, then I could actually be more strict with my next declutter. And I think I shouldn't wait as long with doing this, even though it's a task. It's quite a task to go through all of this. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna end the video here. I have decided I'm gonna stick to what I've chosen. I feel like there's just a lot of work for me left to do. I just really have to go through my collection, really see what I like, use some things again, and then come back to you with another declutter and really see what I like, what I don't like. This is what I know right now, but I just need more information. I need to really get reacquainted with my collection again. So I'm not gonna force myself to be really strict when I just don't know. And there are some newer products that I have to go into a little bit more. So I ended up with 69 eyeshadow palettes in my collection, 15 decluttered. I think for now is a pretty good number for me, but in the future, I am really gonna like try some of these products out 
and let you know. Okay, that is gonna be everything for my eyeshadow palette collection and declutter. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like this video if you liked it. And don't forget to subscribe. And then I will see you in my next one. Bye-bye.